Hey guys, welcome back to AFTV Young Guns. My name is Harvey, and today I'm joined with Arsenal legend on all aspects, Vic Akers. So now he's um, now working here at Bournemouth Football Club, which is obviously my local team, come here to, uh, off very often. Just uh, lost 3-2 to Salford City, unfortunately. It's all Gary Neville, so it's all good. But anyway, Vic, what was it like working under Arsene Wenger? That's, that's my main question. That I'm that's your main you. question. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, the gap was very, very good with me. Uh, I had 20 plus years with him. and. Uh, and I can't say a bad word about him, to be fair. I mean, we, we did and went through quite a lot and uh, won a few trophies in the way and missed out on, on, on others. But uh, in terms of a manager and a gaffer, he was fantastic. So, uh, as I said, nothing bad to say about a man. I'm just it, wishing well now. Was it a difficult decision to leave or was there? For me? Yeah, for you. Well, I'd already, I'd already given him my notice because I felt that it was time for me to, to move on. And I'd said to Gap two years ago in America when we were out there pre-season that uh, I'd give him another year. And, and as it turned out, uh, I'd give him another two years. So he was obviously signed a new contract. And, uh, and that's the way it was. But I, he already knew that I was going to go. And, uh, and sadly, uh, he went a year in front of himself as well. So, uh, but the club that I've obviously yeah, are doing well at the moment. Very well. And my, my son took over the job that I vacated, which I was pleased about. And that, was, that was important to us. Uh, so obviously that's that's what we have to do uh, to, to sort of come here. It's a, it's a real plus for me because uh, Danny is, is the chairman. He's a, he's a big pal of mine as well. And, uh, we've always had the Arsenal ladies in that year. He's always looked after us and, and looked after me in particular. In the Arsenal ladies, you won every single major mm -hmm. trophy in English women's football with the Arsenal ladies. You founded the Arsenal ladies team. I founded the ladies that's, side. That's incredible. That's something that's going to be around well, forever we're, now. We're still the uh, we're still the only team to uh, have won a European, so uh, and that still exists now. Chelsea are at the nearest at the moment. They got semi final, but uh, sadly are in the wrong side of the draw for me and. Uh, and I've actually been working for, for Chelsea, for Emma, who was my coach when we won all four. And uh, it's difficult now because obviously uh, Dion are probably the, the strongest side in the women's football at the moment. Uh, so for Chelsea it's, it's going to be tough. But uh, like everything, football throws up different results, the same as when we won the tournament against Umia in Sweden. We were by far the underdogs. Uh, and obviously never paid big money for players. And the other team <laughs> paid massive money to have Marta in their side, so uh, the Brazilian. But uh, we still managed to come through that and win it. So women's football, I mean, is on the rise now. I mean, I was just at the FA Cup final mm -hmm. last season at Wembley. It's incredible. Yeah. There was thousands yeah. and thousands of people here. We're here at Bournemouth Wood. The yeah. Arsenal ladies play their thing. There's all the yeah. advertising for the right. Super yeah. League. It's yeah. great. You're it's definitely still, an influence it's on still the, it's still the home of Arsenal ladies. Yeah. Um, but sadly, I didn't, I didn't, or uh, well, wasn't uh, needed, and they, I did want to stay on and do some scouting or some work even with the girls scouting. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, they chose that, uh, not to reemploy me in any way. So uh, that was the reason I had to go and do some work with Chelsea, uh, which I enjoyed, and, and now coming and working for Danny uh, at Borenwood is, is also, uh, you know, enjoyable for me. I also noticed you said in your interview when you first joined um, Boreham Wood about how there's about 12 games to go, difficult mm -hmm. situation. I mean, Boreham Wood now safe, not going to get relegated. No, we're not going down. So, That's for sure. Luke's Luke done quite a good job on that, yeah, of course on that front. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, um, something that people always see every single picture, you're always normally wearing shorts. No matter right. what the weather is, yeah. it could be snowing, it could yeah. be whatever. Yeah. Is, is, there, is that just like a just thought? No, it was, just, cold or? it was just something that I, I just got used to. And, when you're when you're in dressing rooms such as uh, you know that are in the, the main leagues and the Premier League, and if you're going into Europe, dre generally the dressing rooms are, are good and warm and everything, and uh, and you don't feel it. You don't feel the, the fact that you're going out because it, again you're sort of uh, you're with the teams. Yeah, and there's a big question that everyone's always always talking about. No, so that's right. Why is he wearing shorts? But 
I mean, guess now well, this we know is my first time a day here, so maybe we'll, we'll extend well, that further. Well, <laughs> no, that would be great. And um, just last, last thing, Arsenal, are we going to finish in the top four this season? Are we going to win the Europa League? Well, what's your take? We got, I, I watched the game last night, and uh, great I, I was kick. at the game last week, um, and I felt that we were far better than, than Napoli. And I thought Napoli, fairness, didn't turn up last night. So, no. you know, that for me is, is great. We can uh, continue to do things uh, in the right way. Um, I think we could make the final. It could be an all English final. It could be, yeah. yeah. I was speaking to someone earlier and it's going to be in uh, Azerbaijan. Yeah, but... well, I mean, I don't understand that. Yeah. But I know they have to put these things in place early doors because Manchester United did the same, I think, a few years back when they played. Uh, who did they play? They played Chelsea, remember. that's right. Oh, yeah. They played Chelsea. And, and that was in Russia, I believe, or <laughs> Kiev or something like that. Somewhere far. Somewhere, somewhere far. Somewhere that way. Way. Exactly. And um, it only causes some major problems and uh, for travel. Yeah, for so sure. For, for all of us. and uh, But that's the way the world and that's the way it is. And, you know, the clubs uh, have to respond to that and just go and play the game where it's got to be played. But uh, it's not uh, not ideal. Well, thank you very, very much for speaking My to me pleasure. today. Um, hopefully, um, we see Arsenal going higher and higher in the league and well, cup right. finals, boring with the same. Yeah, yeah. Bounce back stronger next season, hopefully. There's just and one game left here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Check out the